It's a huge week of shooting starting, I think it was from Monday morning was our uh, official qualification round. So Sunday was our practice round and here we are all the way to, to Sunday again. So a solid week of full competition uh, physically and mentally draining. So it just shows the, the resilience of these young archers. Well, we've talked a lot about Korea, but we need to talk a lot about Chinese Taipei because they could pick up as many as three medals. They will perhaps pick up three medals, I think. In fact, they're guaranteed uh, three medals here today. They picked up one this morning in team competition, and now here they are in the mixed team gold medal match. It will be Chinese Taipei taking on Korea for the gold medal in mixed team. Chinese Taipei first out of the King's Gate. They had a good week earlier defeating Russia and India in shootoffs and then shutting out Georgia 6-0 in the semifinals. And let's meet the two young archers who'll be competing and representing Chinese Taipei. On your left, that's Lin Xiechia. And on your right, the big strong Kuo Cheng Wei, who helped lead his team this morning to a bronze medal in the men's team competition. Now, Kuo Cheng Wei and Lin Xiechia will be facing a formidable team from Korea. It's always a formidable team. Korea defeating Australia earlier this week, five to three, then knocking off Mexico and China in shootoffs. Thanks for reminding me of that, Carl. Sorry about that, Taylor. Just the facts, just the facts. It is. We'll talk about that match a little <laughs> bit as this one gets going. You can fill us in on the details. But two, two terrific shooters and archers out there on the line right now for Korea. On your left, Kibo Bay going for her second medal of the day. And the same is true for Kubon Chan. This morning, Kibo Bay won a bronze medal in team competition. Kubon Chan took a gold medal in team competition along with Kim Woo Jin and Ho Jin Yuk. So Kibo Bay, Kubon Chan for Korea facing Lin Shichia and Kuo Ching Wei for Chinese Taipei. All four archers very strong, very competitive. This will be a very interesting match to watch. Some of your uh, friends in the front row there from South Africa. Great people down from South Africa. Always good to hang out with, always good for a chat. Patrick Rue, who we watched yesterday in compound competition in the front row. Here for this mixed team gold medal match as Kuban Chan starts it off with a nine. If I recall correctly, he shot uh, six straight tens in that team's match. In fact, I thought he might have been the strongest of the three archers for Korea in that gold medal match this morning. Ki Bobe. Impressive as ever. She'll also be competing in the women's gold medal match and going for her first world title. Wo nice, nice. Cheng Wei continuing the strong shooting that he displayed this morning. And now here's Lin Xiechia, 22 years old and ranked 30th in the world. Okay. Good shooting there by both teams. Not bad at all. So we're tied at 19 after the opening salvos. And Mr. Ku connects. Kuban Chan, 22 years old. Kibo Bay, the veteran. And Kibo Bay comes through. Right now, Korea having a good time out there. That's three straight tens to finish off the first set. Taipei needs two themselves just to tie this set and take one point each. It's a little bit of pressure. And they will not tie this set. The set will go to Korea. As Lin Xiechia, who will be back later in the individual matches. Beautiful shot by Lin Xiechia. 
And Chinese Taipei will come up one point short, but that's how Korea does it, isn't it, Taylor? I mean, it's it's only a point here, it's a point there, but it makes a huge difference throughout the match. One point can can change the uh, the whole momentum of a game, and they're able to take advantage of that when they see their opponent. They just continue to shoot solid shots. They don't make mistakes. No, definitely. As soon as they've got you know, a small lead or any lead at all, uh, they can relax and just calm down and just shoot that much easier and just be more natural rather than seeing that they're in a deficit and having to fight harder. And that's when mistakes can happen. That was a strong opening set for Chinese Taipei, and yet they find themselves down 2 nothing despite the fact that they put 38 points on the board. There's the form by Kibo Bay. You saw the follow through. Almost any other match, in, um, almost any other opponent uh, of 38 would be more than enough to win the set. That thought was going through my mind as well. On most occasions, 38 would be more than enough. You're up against Korea. That margin for error is that much less. So trailing 2 nothing, Chinese Taipei will shoot first. Quo Cheng Wei, ranked 22nd in the world, finished 8th at the Olympics in London, 19th at the Summer Games in Beijing back in 2008. Quo nice. Cheng Wei, striking gold. Up high that time for Lin Chia Chia. Interesting that all of the arrows shot so far by Chinese Taipei is uh, above the center of the, of the gold, of the center of the X. Kuban Shan, wide left. Another nine for Korea. So it remains close here in the second set. It could potentially be a tie at the moment with that seven star. Mr. Quo. Status quo. Pair of tens here in the second set for Quo Cheng Wei. The experience from this morning in that team's event is really showing off now in the, in the mixed teams. Okay. So a strong comeback by Chinese Taipei. Will it be enough, though? Time and time again, we've seen Korea come through in these situations. Bon Chan with a nine. I was about to say two tens could guarantee them the set, but uh, with that seven star, we won't know until the judges get exactly. up there and have a closer look. Kibo Bay bearing down. Almost outside that nine ring. Well, at, at the very minimum, uh, they'll, they'll split the set, take one point each. But they have the potential for the Chinese Taipei to come and square the match up, the two all so far. And you could see immediately after she shot that arrow, she went and adjusted her sight. Now, what kind of an adjustment would she be making? Um, uh, not too sure. I didn't follow her first shot, but I think, were they both to the right-hand side? That of the last target? shot was to the right. Okay, so there will be a couple of clicks uh, towards the right, so we would move our sight in the direction of where the arrows went. Okay. Uh, to pull ourselves back into the center. So a few clicks to the right should bring them back to the center for the next end. We'll see if that works out as planned. Now we just await the uh, decision of the judges. Has it been rendered? I don't think so, not yet. I believe they did give them seven points. Yeah. There it is. It was upgraded to an eight. It was upgraded to an eight, yes. 
So that second shot of the end by Lin Xiaqia was upgraded from seven to eight. They get 37 total points and they take the set and they tie the match at two apiece. So a big, big break right there for Chinese Taipei. And we're tied at two after two sets. So all even as Kuban Shan straddles the shooting line. Zeroes in on the center of that target. Very nasty shot. Very smooth, very calm. No steering of the bow. Um, nice follow through. Can be anything less than a 10 for that shot. Kibo Bay, who missed most of last year working as a television commentator in Korea, drops one in the nine ring. So a good, strong, solid start here in the third set for Korea. The broad shouldered Kuo Chang Wei. Being very solid so far. Has a draw weight of about 50 pounds. Uses it to fire a nine. If Lin Xia Chik can come through with a 10, we're all square. 10, it's 10. X10, great shooting. Under the pressure of the potential world championship medal to go clutch on that 10 right there. Very impressive. Big time shot, clutch shot. And it ties the score in 19 all midway through this set. Kuban Chan. That's even closer to the dead center of the target. Another 10 right here would put a lot of pressure on Chinese Taipei. Kibo Bay taking her time. Just outside that 10 ring. So her last four shots were to the right of the target. Maybe she should uh, move a little bit more. Seeing as her first two shots of the match were both tens and now four nines to the right. It's an opportunity for Chinese Taipei to take this set if they can come up with a pair of tens. That will not happen. There was a little bit of a wobble there during the middle of that shot. You won't be happy with that. And regardless, of what Lin Xia Chia does with this shot. Korea is going to take this set and move back ahead four to two. As Chinese Taipei comes up just a little bit short in this set, Korea once again moves ahead four to two. So Kuban Chan, Kibo Bay in good position right now here in this mixed team gold medal match in Copenhagen, Denmark. Looks like the sun's decided to poke its head out for a little bit and we'll get a little bit of warmth. Has been a little bit warmer here today. It's been very nice today, actually. It's been uh, quite chilly for the, the week so far. So the archers from Chinese Taipei surveying the situation, contemplating the situation. And know they've got to come back right here. They can't afford to split. They've got to win this next set outright to keep the match going. Their hope is to tie it at four. As the arrows have been retrieved. And we get set for the next set. Great support for both teams in the crowd there today. In that third set, two tens, two nines for Korea. Meanwhile, Chinese Taipei had only one ten, two nines and one eight. Came up two points short. So now Kuo Cheng Wei. Okay. And again, apart from one arrow, majority of Taipei's shots are all above the center of the target. A little shaky. Okay. Almost got it in there. 
It's a great shot there after the reflection of the glasses. <laughs> and that's a great shot there. Very much so. Uban Chan standing directly behind Kibo Bay as they work together trying to secure this gold medal for Korea. Chinese Taipei must win this set now to force a shoot off. Uh, a draw won't be good enough at the moment. They need two tens right here, back to back. They start off with that one by Kuo Cheng Wei. Now he can only hope that his teammate Lin Xia Chia can come through. Has been competing since 2008 on a limited basis, but what a shot by Lin Xia Chia. At the very least, they have applied some pressure on Korea. Definitely. But Korea can still win the set and win the match. A 10 and a 9 from these last two shots. There's the 9. Now they need a 10. 10 to win and take the world championship. What can the Olympic gold medalist do? A 9. Just out. So like the, shoot off. the set goes to Chinese Taipei. And you look back at that set, Taylor, and the key shot was the one by Lin Xia Chia. She had to have a 10. She came through with the 10. She did. I did notice that uh, she was wearing the number one on her quiver. Uh, she was the highest ranked female archer coming into this event. And that clearly means she shot the most tens during the ranking round. And she came up you know, again, like I said before, she came up clutch this time and put an X10 right in the dead center of the target. Under all sorts of pressure coming through in the clutch, Lin Chia Chia, 22 years old, comes up with the big shot that ties it at four all after four sets. So here we go. So two arrows from each country now, one from each archer. It doesn't matter if they tie on score, it's the closest to the center. Obviously, if there's a score higher than the other uh, opponent, then, then they win the match and they win the shoot off. But uh, if there's two tens each, it'll be the, the closest to the center of that. And just to make sure they will change the target faces. Fresh targets being applied right now is our eye in the sky. Making sure there's absolutely no margin for error in something this important. So everybody anxiously awaiting the shootout here in the Palace Square. Packed grandstands have been packed all weekend long. This event sold out several weeks ago as the organizing committees here have worked together, several organizations working together to promote this event. And the turnout has been nothing short of sensational. Great support from the fans. And they have seen several shoot-offs so far this week. They're going to be treated to one right now. Ku Banchan and Kibo Bay. The interesting thing with teams and mixed team shoot-offs is they actually shoot alternatively. So they'll shoot one arrow each and then uh, swap to the other the country and then they'll swap back again. Game on. And that is a fantastic shot there by Ku. Kuo Cheng Wei. What can he respond with? A nine and a high nine. A 10 here by Miss Key will, will take the match and take the shoot off. She can put it away. Can she do now what she couldn't do last set? 
Got it. That's it. It's over. It's done. Perfect shooting. Lin Chia Chia still has to take her shot, but it's academic. Although she can use this to her advantage in her match coming up later on. So a strong finish by Lin Chia Chia. She shot very, very well. But the gold medal goes to Korea. Great shooting by both of those countries there. Fighting all the way right to the very end. And it takes perfect to win the match. So they win it in a shoot off. Five to four, the final score. And Korea has just picked up its third medal. I believe third medal? Yes, third medal of the day so far. Picked up a team bronze medal this morning for the women, a men's gold medal in team competition, and now a gold medal in mixed team competition. But wait, they're not done. We'll see Choi Mi Soon coming up in the bronze medal match for the women. Then Kibo Bay and Lin Chia Chia will be back in the women's gold medal match.